Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Srini here. So if you are new to this channel, I would just strongly recommend go ahead and subscribe to it and hit the bell icon to get notifications. So here you'll be getting a lot of free tutorials on Java, Serenium, Python, API automation and other technical topics which are very much in demand in market. So let's get started with today's topic. So in today's session, we are going to focus on how much time is required for you to learn Selenium from scratch. If you don't have any idea at all about automation, how do you get started and how much time does it require in the process to learn Selenium? I know this is like a frequently asked question these days where many people who are there in manual area, manual testing area, they would want to switch to automation or who are from a non-technical background, they would want to come into technical background, especially in automation. And I do agree with that. It's totally in demand and it's a very good option to switch to automation. Even at this point of time, it's not too late. You can get started, but there is some learning path which you have to go across in order to learn Selenium and even put it into your resume and be ready for the interview. So we're going to look at what all things are required and how much time is required for you to learn Selenium. Yeah, so these are going to be the key takeaways from our session. So let's start with the first topic. How do we get started with learning automation? See, automation is a process where you need some supplementary tools in order to you know complement the automation process and to get started. So for that, I would say you need an automation tool. Which particular tool are you choosing to get started with automation? So there are Serenium, Batir, Catalon Studio, SOAP UI, there are different, different tools which are having different, different advantages and disadvantages. So according to your requirements, if you are okay with a budgeted one or a licensed tool, you can go for the licensed tools available in the market. Like UFT is a good tool. It supports UI as well as, you know, web browser, as well as the windows automation as well, windows automation as well. So apart from that, if you want to go for a open source tools, you have certain version or certain features available in Catalon Studio, but I prefer Selenium uh, because of its advantages and it's completely open source and it will be able to do a web browser automation. And even we have certain other automation tools, let's say for API automation, if you want to automate any application programming interface, so you can go for tools like SOAP UI means the free version part of SOAP UI because SOAP UI even has a license part to it. So we are not going to go for that. If you are planning for open source, you can learn HTTP client jar and you can use it for your API automation with Java. And even you can go for the other available things like rest assured, which is by Google. So that's also in demand today. So these are the different ways of how you can, you know, which automation tools you can start learning. Now for learning these automation tools, you need to know one or other programming languages, depending upon which particular language you want to go with. You can go for Java, you can go for C sharp, you can go for Python. So we are going to focus set. Let's say you're going to learn Java. Then how much time is it required to start learning Java? So as I told for any automation tool, you need to know at least one programming language and the automation tool, of course, but to start with, we are going to start with that programming language. So that's the second point. We are going to say, let's say Java is one of the programming language we want to learn. So how much time do we need to learn Java? That's what we are going to focus here, right? So we would require, I would say approximately two to three months. If you can put rigorous time daily practicing Java, and if you can just keep on increasing your confidence by practicing a few topics in Java and doing some quiz online, etc., then you're going to learn Java very much thoroughly within a matter of uh, two to three months, you would be very good in core Java, at least for core Java, and you will be ready to start learning Selenium. Okay. Now let's go for the third point. How much time does it require to learn Selenium? Now, if you have put some good efforts in learning Java, let's say two to three months at least. And if you wish to learn Selenium from scratch, again, I would say it will take at least two months to learn Selenium. I'm saying two months is not just basic concepts. Because basic concepts will not take that much of time to learn because provided you know Java, because you're going to use Java as a programming language to do writing the code, etc. Right. But it is also including basics of framework creation, etc. Right. I'm just saying the basics. I'm not going for the advanced topics yet. 
two months is at least required for the basic concepts of selenium and little bit of advanced concepts you can start off but if you wish to learn even the advanced concepts like which i have listed down here ci that is continuous integration right like jenkins tool is there be it a git repository how to work with it auto it frameworks creation from scratch covering all the frameworks etc it will take you at least another couple of months so i would say selenium will roughly require you four months and java will require you two to three months to learn so it's a process of i would say at least six months to know java and selenium together it can be even more than that provided how much time you're giving yourself to practice and know the concepts of java and selenium so i feel that any person who is learning java and selenium should not just have that intention in mind just to learn it it should be also to how to apply in today's generically the problems which we are facing how do we automate that and even try to give certification exams of java and selenium so that you will get that additional confidence that you have cleared the certification exam with good marks so that will give you a good confidence to go ahead and even learn the advanced concepts and you can start appearing for interviews you can put in a resume appear for interviews you would have to of course get some practical exposure so you may have to go as a beginner and say that you have just learned selenium or took a course or completed this course given the exam give the interview well so you have to get shortlisted first so prepare well for your interview put some good technical topics which you have learned in your resume and make the interviewer first call you get the interview schedule and then you can just give the interview with full confidence of whatever concepts you have learned practical things which you have learned what projects you have created you can just explain that to the interviewer and i'm sure you would be able to crack it so if you have any other questions or if you would want me to take any other videos feel free to comment on my channel and even you can send me an email so that's all for today and i hope you were benefited by watching this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet i would strongly recommend go ahead and do it thanks for watching and do share with your friends thank you so much